Welcome to UK Business Show, UK's premier business show where we feature business thought leaders, high achievers, and industry experts. Today's episode is brought to you by World Outsourcing Solutions Limited, a company that specializes in helping executive business owners with virtual assistant services and business growth systems. Here's your host, UK Kachidori. Excellent. Welcome back to another very special episode, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm so excited because I have a friend of mine all the way from Romania joining us to share with you things that are working today. Not what worked five years ago or 10 years ago, but strategies that are working today. Let me ask you a question. Do you want to create massive demand for your services or your products? You know, right in the midst of everything not working so well, the economy is going down, uh, the fuel prices are sky high. Would you like to know how to do that? Well, if your answer is yes, my guest today, Steph Rapin, uh, has found a strategy that works uh, regardless of what you do, what you sell, the services that you bring to the market. So I want you to stay tuned and discover what works. Steph, thank you so much for joining us, man. It's amazing being here. I'm, I'm so excited about this. Incredible. Real quick, share with the audience, everybody here, what is your number one strategy that you know if people implement it today, they're going to create massive, massive demand for their services? Number one strategy that I have in mind is the consistency is more important than any magic pill that you've seen out there and processes beat out any kind of tactic that you've seen. All these influencers, Ty Lopez, or any of those guys explain to you that you can get very, very rich, very fast. That's all kind of BS. So consistency and process beat everything. I love that. The consistency beats everything. Now that may sound so simple, but uh, you know, I know it personally that when you start doing things consistently, the results begin to twinkle in. And uh, before long, you have this snowball effect and you can't even stop it. Uh, t t talk to us, Steph, how have you discovered uh, this whole concept of you know, consistency beats everything else? Well, first of all, I'm a big uh, I'm a big reader. So there is this book by uh, Warren Buffett called the, the Snowball. So it's about him building his business from the ground up, um, and he was talking about how he used to um, he used these companies. He he was like selling and buying very little things from the very beginning, but then he got into like selling and buying companies, and he would be he was very very efficient with the businesses he was uh, he was um, um, negotiating and selling. So the, the whole idea of consistency came from my family, which is entrepreneurial, where I could see that my father, my, my mother, my godfather, they would work day by day, even on the weekend, no problem working in the weekend. And then they would deliver consistent results with that. I've seen that in my family and I'm working like that with clients as well. I'm seeing people who, who have been working for a year, they, they change dramatically their lives, just being consistent, you know? All you have to do is just start. You need a, you need a routine. Uh, let's say you want to create some demand for your business, right? You want to create massive demand for your business. What you do is you wake up 8 a.m. in the morning, you document yourself talking about the pains that your clients have, and you cut that amount of, you created that content you put out there on the internet. And sooner or later, most certainly sooner, you'll get the demand knocking off your door and asking for your phone number so they can buy your service or product. And that's how I've seen uh, it working client by client by client. All my clients are, are doing that and they're successfully implementing this strategy. It is amazing. I'll tell you a story. Uh, probably just over a year ago, I joined Clubhouse and uh, almost uh, every other day I was on Clubhouse talking about podcasting, really uh, showing people how to start, scale and monetize their podcast. I was doing that because it was right uh, at a time when everybody was staying at home, as you, as you remember. What I didn't realize is there were some people who were uh, observing me from a distance. And little by little, I started having all these inquiries from people wanting me to show them how to start, how to scale, and how to monetize their podcast. Initially, I did not have a training course for it. I was just helping people out. And now I've got a training course that helps people to do that. Uh, but 
what was amazing is the consistent uh, showing up. I was showing it, uh, you know, on Clubhouse, met people to come. And I remember somebody once said to me, uh, you know, requested to have uh, a one-on-one -on -one with me. And I say, hey, um, how can I help you today? Imagine it's, it's you know we, we are speaking on, and he said, "Oh, don't worry about going into the sales speech. I'm ready to give you my money." I said, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What are you talking about?" I said, "I want you to teach me to do a podcast." I said, "Well, okay, um, right. I have to create this uh, program now because people are asking all the time. So I love it when you say, really, if you want to create massive demand for your service." Keep showing up at the same time, be consistent. And it's amazing what comes out of it. And the thing, again, going back to my story, the thing this particular person said, said, well, I've observed you for a long time that I know you are the genuine real deal. And I thought, oh, what a nice compliment. Because people want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And trust. And it, yeah. it takes a bit of time to create that knowing that liking and that trust. So consistent absolutely is the key. <laughs> that, that's for sure. That's for sure. Um, I used to say that all the time. Like, you know, if people won't buy just 3% of your market is buying right now, you know, like it's a, a meager amount of people. But if you build that, that relationship with them, even if they don't talk to you, they, most people are lurkers, right? They don't, they, they're not going to tell you, oh, I like you or something, but they're going to look and consume and consume your content or, and, and build demand passively and then once you're like oh boom i got i got a massive business right yes yeah and what i like about this concept is uh it embodies both tactical strategies and you know being strategic because the people will know that you are there to stay because what happens on this internet you know everybody can say i can do this i can do this they may show you a, a tactic in six months they are gone but if you keep showing up after six months, you keep showing up same time, talking about the same thing, helping the same people. What happens after that is people will begin to trust you. And it's amazing. I know Bill, you are listening and uh, you probably are nodding your head because it is true among many people that are listening to this podcast. Steph, I know I did not introduce you, but there are people who are, you know, eking right now. They want to know who is Steph and what have you done, and maybe some stories from some of your successful uh, clients. Would sure, you talk to us about? So, so what does Steph do? Steph is a, a fractional head of marketing. Um, I specialize in building marketing operations for uh, B2B businesses mostly. And I make them successful, right? So I help them build massive demand for their product or services. And uh, for, for this uh, ep uh, show episode, I've got two cases for you guys. Uh, so case number one is I've worked with uh, two companies in the real estate, uh, tech, real estate management um, um, industry. And one of the companies that I've worked with, uh, when I started, they, uh, they had a, not a very big amount of, um, of sales inquiries. Uh, they were low, uh, they were low on cash, very bad cash flow. And within half a year, we've built their um, marketing and sales department. We've built their processes very well. We, I've asked their founders to show up consistently and build demand. And they've grown by 500% their, their demand. It is really possible because they, there was demand in the industry. All they had to do is show up. Uh, the, other, the other case I have is from an HR company. Um, it's a job board located in the United States, top 20 um, in terms of um, users, in ter terms of clients. Um, when I joined them three years ago, they had, um, they had some results. They were quite good. They were making half a million uh, in sales. And within uh, three years, after I've helped them build the processes, helped them build their, their business and, and procedures, operations, um, we, they've got a 200% uh, increase in, in revenue. And um, they're going to be probably the top 10 uh, job board very, very soon. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love what you, you touched on there, which is processes. You know, one of the things I've discovered in, in business over the last maybe 10 years of doing this is uh, 
if you don't have processes, you'll be all over the place. But if you want to create real demand for what you do, have your systems in place. And when you have right processes in place, keep working those processes, keep showing up and keep reaching out to people, you know, everything will begin to fall into place accordingly. One of the things that you touch on, uh, Steph, really in, your, in how you help people is understanding the concept of, uh, you know, uh, having the right mindset for success. Would you touch uh, on that uh, very briefly? Sure, of course. Yeah, as uh, as you as you can hear this, Bill. Uh, nice to meet you, by the way. Um, the, the success success doesn't come right away. It's like learning a language, so uh, it doesn't come in steps. It comes in in waves. So um, you might you might be uh, on a plateau and you think you're not learning, you're not achieving success. But at this time, you're building up success from the background. You know, somewhere somewhere in the dark, uh, the 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 goddess of success is, is building up your fortune, right? So you got to be consistent. You got to be show up, even if if it's not there, even if you're seeing that maybe the results are not there. Maybe it's not as you want it. But if you keep on showing up and, and consistently doing whatever you're doing and doing your 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 best and, and showing up and helping people, your customers, uh, success will show up and it, it's going to knock on your door. You want it or you don't. Indeed. You know, uh, having that mindset that uh, keep going at it, it, it truly is crucial. You know, what I've discovered among many people who start businesses and fail, in fact, statistics shows that, you know, a lot of business fails within the first five years. Oh. And if you're, if you're to look at the, the reason people fail is because their mindset hasn't been trained to, to think like a business owner that, you know, consistency, longevity, you know, put in processes, work on it slow. It may be slow at first, but slow is fast because if you build it too quickly, it will come down crumbling. If you build it slowly, steady pace and being consistent, keep showing up and really offer real value to your audience uh, or your, 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 the people, your customer that are going to be buying from you, they will come back, they will refer you and you get more every single time. Uh, Steph, let me ask you about, uh, perhaps for anybody who is looking to get started, with creating that demand. Now they, that they understand about consistent, they understand about the processes, they have been developing the mindset. Based on what you do or how you're helping people, would you sort of uh, share with our audience the steps or, you know, that they can follow or maybe the road ahead? What does it look like? What do they need to put in place to create that massive demand other than what we've covered already? Of course, sure. Um, first of all, in order to create the massive demand that um, of course any business owner is worth of, um, you should expect that you there is an amount of work that you should put into it. Second is uh, the goal. So whenever you put, um, I'm seeing a lot that business owners, they. Um, they put the means before the end. You you should put the, the goal first. Let's say uh, your goal in this case would be to have an, a certain number of like certain revenue. Mm -hmm. When you when you when you do the planning, when you do the planning you, when, and your processes, you should always have uh, that goal in mind. You can you can put it put it on a board somewhere in your room or somewhere, right? Uh, in marketing, we call it the North Star metric, right? So you you should have your North Star metric and always look up to it. And based on the North Star metric which you have, you, pre you create the processes and the tactics, and you basically translate the, the, your, your yearly goal, which you have, to your monthly goal and to your weekly goal and to your daily goal. It's quite easy. If your uh, um, monthly goal is, is this, then you basically is divided by, by 30 where you're working days, and that's the goal for that day, right? And that's how you create a routine, and that's you show up, and all you need is just discipline, right? Um, believe me, even even the most fantastic goals uh, do uh, people do achieve them if you show up consistently and you have a discipline and you basically uh, just just make it small steps, but every day. Yeah, yeah. You know what you've touched on uh, is important. I remember doing this 
right at the beginning of my journey as an entrepreneur. In fact, I remember my coach at the time created this color. I had no idea what it was. Mm -hmm. It helped me really to break down this monumental goal that I had set up at the beginning. And she said to me, you the number one uh, uh, you know, obstacle that people like you who are getting started, we're talking like 2012, is uh, not being disciplined to put this on paper. You know, it makes sense hearing about it, but if you don't put it on paper, you, the chances are you're not going to follow it up. So I want to say to you, Bill, and uh, anybody else listening here, that what we are talking about, maybe you created a goal before, uh, and maybe you have forgotten about it. Maybe life has become too busy. Maybe it's time to, to just go back and recreate that goal, you know, break that into small steps and find an accountability partner or a coach who's going to say, okay, over the next seven days, what are we working on? What can we do now to achieve that goal? Because you know, it's those small steps, Steph, as you, you know this as well as I do, that truly decide where you end up to, you know, tomorrow because those steps become your routine, your habits, which decide the result that you get. So love that, that, that point very much that you, you pointed out. Now that they have uh, a goal, and they've got the right work ethic, because that's the thing that you touched on, you know, that you're going to be working hard on that. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people do have work ethic, uh, but not everybody gets the results. What's the missing link? Um, the results, well, consistency, first of all, second is accountability. I think a lot of your, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people think that, okay, I, I don't have the discipline to achieve whatever I have in mind. And a lot of people act, act basically act, um, lack basic accountability. It's much easier, you know, when you uh, when you marinate some cucumbers, right? You put a salty cucumber, and then they marinate themselves, and they are all salty, right? Yeah. Uh, and basically, the same happens in business. If you surround yourself with people who can keep you accountable, be it fa uh, friends or family, other businessmen who can keep you accountable to your goals, you can start a mindset. You can start a uh, um, uh, a group like a brainstorming group where you can meet every week and then you can keep each other accountable on your goals. That's super important. And I, I recommend it to all my clients that you guys need to keep accountable. Um, sometimes results do not come as you want it. Um, it does happen. In this case, you know, I, I work a lot with, with startups and sometimes results come, sometimes the results don't come. It's very important to, to struggle and build the grid and, and continue on, on working on the goal. Sometimes yeah. you do have to pivot, right? Sometimes you do have to change That's the right. strategy because you know um, I'm not a big uh, I'm not a big fan of like hustle just for the ha sake of hustle. Sometimes you need to take a step forward and build it from the side so you achieve the goal which you uh, which you want. So um, it's important it's important to know that a step back is actually a step forward. It is. It is. I like what you say about that, you know, sometimes pivot. Somebody once said to me, uh, you know, take the path of less resistant. They gave me this example that if you are to look at nature, the way nature operates, you will never find water flowing up the stream. You always find it flowing downwards when it meets an obstacle. It doesn't keep going again at the obstacle, it finds the path of less resistance just around the, that boulder or that rock, and it finds its way right to where it needs to go. And if you are like that in business, that where, wherever you are, you are flexible, you can pivot. You, if it doesn't work, you, you find the path of less resistance, literally a follow along, you will get to your success. And the people who are pragmatic, they don't change or they are not flexible, in no time, they'll be out of business. Look at uh, you know, uh, the video companies and many companies like Blockbusters, they were not ready to pivot. They were not ready to be flexible. And where are they now? They're gone. But if you look at companies that re-innovate, reinvent, flexible, they will keep striving from one generation to another to another. The lesson there, which you've touched on there, Steph, is uh, be flexible. You know, you know, put in the work that you need, be consistent and have the process, but also look at the feedback you're getting. You know, is it a go-ahead feedback 
or is something telling you that this is you know, maybe your product, your service is not yet ready for the market? And then you use what's next. So I love what you you you, you typed on there, and I'm sure Bill is taking a lot of notes on there. <laughs> You know, it's, this is incredible stuff we're talking about. As we're coming toward the end of our time together, Steph, you know, one of the questions I hear a lot from entrepreneurs is, uh, you know, how do you keep going, uh, you know, despite all the difficulties and all the roadblocks that are put in your way as an entrepreneur? Because you've got a lot of things coming your way. You've got the finances. You've got the, uh, you know, the legal aspect. You've got to go get the customers. You've got the customer complaints. You've got everything coming to you. How do you stay the path and get to your goals? Sure. What do you do? For the first, the first, the first goal is that you don't treat work as work, right? You treat work as pleasure. So if you, if you get too tired from work, maybe you're not doing the right thing, and maybe you should delegate it. That's the first thing I do. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't really like, then maybe there, it's a way, like you mentioned, like the water, to go around that boulder and maybe delegate that service or work to someone. Um, but in terms of, in terms, I think that my family and friends are my the people who support me. I try to um, I try to live by the motto, don't judge. So I don't judge people. And I, and I also like a lot of people. Well, my friends are people who don't judge me. Wherever mistakes, a mistake I might, might do, and I try to do the more mistakes I do, the faster I grow as a person and as a business. So I try to do a lot of mistakes and uh, my, my family, my, my support groups, I have a few business support groups and, and coaches who coach me in, in different aspects of my life. Um, they are all supportive and support is very, very important because you, you're going to have a lot of ups and downs. Um, even today I had a, uh, a few very bad sales calls, but you know, I met you, you raise up my mood and you know, we're going to support each other. So. I'm like, yeah, this is great energy coming uh, my way. Uh, so I'm going to go to bed happy today. Amazing. I uh, love that. And for those who want perhaps to work with you, Steph, where can they find you? Uh, first of all, they can find me um, on LinkedIn. It's S-T-E-F-A-N. And my last name is R-E-P-I-N. Um, Stefan Repin, that's my uh, LinkedIn profile. Or they can go to the website called luckboosters.com luck uh, l-u-c-k boosters b-o-o-s-t-e-r-s dot com um, and then you'll find all the information that you need and i'll even treat you with a free consultation guys amazing absolutely amazing and for those who will reach out to you what sort of results can they expect uh, upon finishing working with you um a recent result i've had with uh with a client is in three months we've raised um a hundred thousand uh, euro in pipeline. So we've grown them from zero to basically a hundred thousand percent in, <laughs> wow. in, in revenue. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Um, they all they did they was they just showed up. It was a, an interesting industry, and they showed up. They had customer uh, already some competitors, but we were better than them. Um, I have actually on my if you check my LinkedIn profile, I have a folder there where you can check all my case studies. Wow, incredible. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and Bill, uh, Steph, uh, showing you what you can do today to create massive demand. Some of the things that we tied on may seem so obvious uh, and sometimes it's so simple, but did you know that the most simple things are also simple and easy not to do. So I want to encourage you to not to be one of those people that say, oh yeah, I know that already. I've heard that before. Be the person that said, okay, I've heard that before. What am I doing about this? Maybe you're hearing this over and over and over again because you still need to learn something about it. What if you make today that day, you're going to take an action and really begin to, uh, to, to put a plan together, write your goals and make sure you create that accountability uh, you know, system, be it an accountability partner, whatever you need to do, do that to make sure that you follow through on your plan. And then you create the massive demand for your services and your plans that you truly want. Look guys, I truly believe that you too can have success. That's why we have people like, amazing people like Steph coming on the show because we believe that this can be done by anybody who wants to uh, create success for themselves. Steph, once again, thank you so much for joining us here today and sharing your expertise uh, with us.
Uh, well, the pleasure is mine. Thank you. That's awesome. Now, if you want to know how to start, how to scale, or how to monetize your podcast, we've got a training program that we have set aside for you. And of course, of course, we haven't forgotten about the leadership training that uh, my dear friend Trevor Stockwell is putting together. So if you want to know about leadership, and also about podcasting, reach out to our team or go to the uh, community. Uh, we'll be able to help you. Until next time, live well, live with passion, know that the best is yet to come. Goodbye for now. Thank you for listening to Ukai Business Show. We will be back to bring you more episodes with success stories and advice straight from the experts. Want more? Check out www.ukaibusinessshow.com. Get your free trial of our virtual assistance service today. Just visit www.worldoutsourcingsolutions.com. Quote W O S 1 8 or send us an email at support at worldoutsourcingsolutions.com. 